So uh, prior to COVID, Terry, um, that was 25% of my business. I anticipate um, this year, it's going to be probably at least 50% of my business, and, and that's the foreclosures. So that's one big one uh, right there. If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. But today is all about how to locate motivated sellers. It's actually working today. We're not talking theory here on the Private Money Academy. Speak up. Who's closed the deal recently using a resource they could share? I see a hand going up there from Eric and Erica. Oh, well, Eric is actually not here because he's at a closing from a bandit sign. Well, t t tell us the details on that. Um, so we had someone that we hired. We paid them $2 a sign to go and flood our county with signs. And uh, that was about a month ago, and they just keep coming in. We usually get a good one or two a day. Erica, um, what do you mean by flood? Is that 20 signs? Is that <laughs> 50? Well, we started off with 50, and then... Um, like the next weekend, they did about 50 more. So we probably have a good 100, 150 out with a lot more that needs to go out. And what do the signs say? Uh, we buy houses with a big old number on the front. They're hideous. They're yellow. Eric designed them. They're yellow with red letters. <laughs> and it says, we buy houses. It has the number on it. And then I think underneath it, it says, um, can close fast or something like that. Uh, what would you say are your top three ways to find motivated sellers are, Jay? Question mark, question mark. So uh, let me go ahead and share one of those right now. And that is hands down my foreclosure system. I did a complete talk on it um, this past Thursday. Never before since 2008 has there been a better time to get in the foreclosure business. Huge opportunity to serve a lot of people. Uh, if you want to learn about my foreclosure system, go to W. In fact, uh, somebody put this in the chat. Go to www.jayconner.com forward slash foreclosure. So uh, prior to COVID, Terry, um, that was 25% of my business. I anticipate um, this year it's going to be probably at least 50% of my business. Um, and, and that's the foreclosures. So that's one big one, uh, right there. Um, who else have we got that has closed the deal recently, uh, using a resource to share? I don't care if it's out of the ordinary or old try and true one. Simone, go right ahead. Um, another resource I use is once I have a skip trace, um, I go in and I create a separate Excel spreadsheet with the with the owner's first name, last name, and the address. And then I have the phone number in there. I think you can really put five fields in there. And I use a source called REI Reply. And then I upload my contact list into REI Reply. They've already got templates. And then you text blast them. So you can do 200 a day. So as soon as I send out the list, within the first couple of minutes, I'm getting answers on people that are coming back to me saying, yes, they want to sell. No, they don't want to sell. And if they get mad, I, I already know that that's a go because they're saying, no, I don't need to do anything about my house. But yet, while I'm I'm doing that list, I'm already, I already know on PropStream when their auction date is. I already know how much they owe, basically. And I already have my information on when they, and, and all these, all this different stuff. So then I can chat with them and I can say, well, yeah, but your auction date is so-and-so. And it freaks them out because then they know I know what I'm talking about. And then my next question is, let me help you. You know, how can I help you? And the, and the ways you can help them is if they have no equity, well, they got to do a short sell. Otherwise, you know, it hurts their credit or they do a short sale and they can buy a house in two years. Or if they have equity, the next answer is, well, why don't you can list it or, or we're interested in buying it. So I have different ways on how to, how to have that conversation. 
Right. So Simone, um, the name of the website or services REI reply. R R E I reply, R E I R E P L Y dot com, right? R E I reply. Yes. What does R E Ply service actually do? They they allow you to hex blast your lists. So okay. So R E I reply is a text blasting service. Yes, and they have, and it has a, a, a back office. So, so as you're having your conversations, you already see like who who responded to you, and then you can also have I have about seven phone numbers, and then I have three no, numbers I have in hand. So it goes automatically from the seven phone numbers out of our REI reply text blasting at twenty messages a minute, and then it comes back through the back office of REI reply and I'm responding. And then if I want to, I have it go to a cell phone where they actually call me right then and there. So on the on the REI reply service, what is your favorite list to put into that service? Foreclosures. Foreclosures. Now yes. these are people that are already in foreclosure. Yes. Meaning these are people been are already in foreclosure, and they, and they we have we have more than a month to be able to handle the process of of buying the house. All right. And how are you? Uh, what service are you skip tracing to get phone numbers? Um, I use PropStream. Um, I like the pen. And I also have a guy, I'll have to pull his information that I use um, privately because he comes back with a different list than even PropStream and Connected does. So I pretty much use all three, depending okay. on what I'm doing for the day. All right. So uh, somebody type in the chat, uh, reireply.com. Is it already in there? Yeah. Okay. And Susan owns the company. She's great. Tell her Simone sent you and she'll be great. All right. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Who else has recently closed a deal using a resource to share? I know out of 60 people, somebody's bought a house. Hey, hey Crystal, um, Jay shared a resource. Uh, you got a resource you can share with everyone? <clears throat> well, sure. I've been... Um... You know, one of my favorite things to do, um, and I guess this even exploded a lot after COVID, um, it's nothing new, but it is something that works and it works really, really well. And that is, um, is you can call it whatever you want to call it, ant farm, bird, dog, don't, whatever, um, driving for dollars. But essentially anybody and everybody that is out driving, um, I communicate with and or share with other people through my networking and or, you know, friends, family, ask them to, to look for, for distressed properties and or for sale by owner signs. Um, and it works. Um, and what's really interesting about that. And, and so like, that's the thing I think a lot of people don't think much about, but everybody's driving, like everything became delivery. So nobody was we weren't going out to places, but everybody else was driving around. So UPS, USPS, FedEx, um, your DoorDash people, Grubhub, any pizza delivery, any of those people are people that should be working for you. Um, and it's cheap. And I, I still get tons of leads from, from there and buy houses all the time. What you're saying is uh, you should order online for delivery a lot and you should go and buy a lot of stuff to get them delivered to you so you can talk to people. <laughs> for sure. But also, um, you know, someone else mentioned this earlier and we were looking for unique, but I do want to just emphasize how helpful it is to talk to the people that are in your network. They're out there looking too, right? So they happen to see a house that's on Facebook and they send it to you or they see one that they drive by that they've noticed is vacant. Why, you know, leverage all the people, you know, those are definitely my best leads. There's so many people out there working to help you that way. I saw someone put in the chat. I'm looking for it and I can't find it. Who put in the chat working with wholesalers? I'm looking up there and I, and I, and I don't see it right now. Well, I do want to make this point, folks, and this is probably the most important point that I can make on this Zoom. And that is, we know in the real world, most sellers, regardless of where you find them, what do they require? You all tell me. All the cash, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yesterday. In the real world, yep. most sellers require all the cash. Yes, some will sell to us on terms, but they require all the cash. 
One of the big benefits as you being a Private Money Academy member, you have got two free tickets to my $3,000 event titled the Private Money Academy Conference. The next event is June 8, 9, and 10. That is four weeks from today, folks. Four weeks from today, June 8, 9, and 10. You, as a Private Money Academy member, get to attend for free. You can bring a guest for free, a business partner, a colleague, a significant other, a spouse. Chaffee, how about take a minute and tell people why, if they're serious about this business, they need to get to this Private Money Academy conference. Absolutely. <clears throat> well, first and foremost, it's on the beach um, and uh, a very nice hotel. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, it is on the beach and a very nice hotel. And first and foremost is that if you want to see and learn how Jay does business, you have to get to this event. Jay opens up his business like nobody I've ever seen in this, uh, in, in this real estate industry. Um, he's going to have his entire team there. And most people know Jay, um, UJ, as the private money authority. And so that's how they find you. And, you th and they think, oh, hey, it'd be great to uh, raise private money. Well, not only do you cover how to raise private money, millions of dollars of private money, you also cover your other three pillars. You have a total of four, uh, raising private money is one and three more of um, real estate. And so the other three pillars are how to find the deals, um, how to sell those deals, and how to automate your entire business so you're working on your business and not in your business. And you cover all four of those pillars at the live event. You bring your team members there, including your acquisitionist, your real estate agent, your attorney, your uh, contractor, designer, and uh, it's an open forum. I've, I've never seen that where you, you like you, the team members are there and all the students can ask any kind of questions they want to everybody there. In addition to that, Jay, you also bring your private lenders. And so the students can ask how they how you found those private lenders. Like, how did Jay find you and why did you decide to invest with Jay? And so all this is important because you take what you learn at this three-day event, and then you go back and you duplicate that in your market. You duplicate that where, where you're at for your business. Um, and so you got to get there. You got to learn how Jay does business the right way with the servant's heart to help people so that you can go and you can uh, be successful in your market as well. So, um, Crystal, if you would type in the chat, here's the URL that allows you to register for free, and that is www jays j-a-y-s live l-i-v-e event e-v-e-n-t dot com jays live event dot com that will allow you to register for free uh you can bring a guest for free you will have the option to upgrade to vip it's not required but you do have that option now let me tell you something folks this event is selling out I got a report this morning as to those that are already um, registered. And if you have not registered, you need to register now. Now, when you register, you will immediately receive an email with the hotel information um, as to where the event is. And those rooms are like selling out fast, fast. So get registered, get yourself a room. If the hotel is sold out when you register, then there's Airbnbs around here. We actually have Ubers around here. And um, so you definitely want to get registered for this event. Crystal, uh, anything you want to say about the upcoming event and what we do? Just, um, I do want to echo what Chaffee said. I've literally never seen anybody just pull back the curtain and show everything, but you do that, which is incredible. Um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a family. So, you know, just how you see us here we are we all welcome you and and get to be really connected with you and so just just from that experience alone it's really amazing to me because it's a very different culture you'll never be to an event like you like this one um and i just want everybody to know so when chaffee was saying that it's uh, all of us are there and you teach the whole time um and and it's just it's a really incredible event so if you have any opportunity whatsoever to be there you really need to make sure that you do that um, it will really help elevate your business in a way that you can't do any other. Erica, you've been uh, to the Private Money Academy Conference, I want to say at least three times. What's your take on this event? 
Oh, I learned something new every single time. So the cool thing about it is when I first came, I didn't know much about real estate. So it was all just a whole bunch of new information to learn. And every single time since then, I've come back learning more. Um, I love that we can ask you questions no matter where we're at in our business. So while like maybe the first time talking to a project manager didn't really resonate with me, it didn't really apply to me. The next time I was like, okay, I need to learn everything I need to learn about hiring a project manager or finding a real estate attorney or it just meets you where you're at. So everyone can learn something. Um, and I just got reminded it was actually um, uh, either you or Banjo, uh, Erica, that uh, typed in wholesalers. So uh, tell yep. us, how, do, how does your wholesaler system work on finding um, motivated sellers? Um, so we live out in the country, so we have to drive about an hour um, to go to any type of event. So um, there are three different events that we go to, uh, Real Estate Investors Association. So we have three different RIAs that we attend. Uh, we also started up our own. So we're always um, networking with them. We have Facebook groups. Uh, for investors that we network with as well. And um, when you find a good wholesaler, they're, they're like gold. So um, if you get on their good list, then you, you're in there. So we've bought several from one uh, wholesaler. He'll call us up. We just call him up and say, hey, hey, I have more private money. I'm ready for another deal. Um, and he'll send us whatever he has. And we told him exactly what numbers we're looking for. And so he knows what works for us and what doesn't. Awesome. Chaffee, bring us home. Yeah, so I'd like to uh, echo what Crystal said, which is take action. And I, I do want to say that this was a great call. Um, we covered a lot of information and none of it means anything unless you make offers, right? So the key to getting deals, the key to being successful in this business is you have to make offers. If you want to buy a property in the next 30 days, make 50 offers a week. And I'm not kidding. I'm not talking about just like reaching out and talk to people. I'm like, take, I'm saying make offers, right? Written offers. Um, and, and that's how you find properties. And the offers don't have to be what people are asking for, right? The offers are what makes sense for you and your numbers and your maximum allowable offer. Um, so if you want to be successful in this business, make those offers, take action. And when you come to the live event, the three-day live event, you're going to learn so much information about uh, what Jay does and how he does it, about how he finds the deals, how his acquisitionist finds the deals, and again, how they make offers. And that's how Jay does three or four deals every single month is because they make those offers. So take action, take what you learn here apply it and then go off and make offers and do some deals. And um, we want to help you with your success. So ask us questions and uh, we're here for you. Absolutely. Thank you, Chaffee. And um, yes, uh, Erica, thank you for answering that question. T's Galaxy A20 uh, just put a question in the chat. Do you have to input your credit card info to register for Jay's conference? The answer is yes. The reason your credit card is put in there is to verify that you actually are a real person and not a robot. It's not going to charge your credit card. So, um, but yes, that's the reason you're putting your credit card in there. So with that, thanks to everyone for joining us here on another Private Money Academy. We'll be right back here two weeks from today um, on the fourth Wednesday, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Watch your email for that. And I can't wait to see you here for that. And even more excitingly, right here in Atlantic Beach, Morehead City, North Carolina, for the Private Money Academy Conference, get registered at jaysliveevent.com. All right, folks, God bless you. Have a great day, a great rest of the week. I'll see you right here in two weeks, and I'll see you at the live event. Bye for now. God bless everyone. God bless you, buddy. Bye-bye. Are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jconner.com slash money guide. That's jconner.com slash money guide and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jconner.com slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time on Raising Private Money with Jay Connor.